Within this video, we're going to go ahead and continue working in lesson two. And specifically, we're actually going to be working through the interface activity to unbalanced forces. So of course, go ahead and follow along here inside of the PDF and follow along here inside of the video. So within this section, we're going to go ahead and play with the unbalanced forces. And something that's really nice about the Unreal Engine is that when anything is simulating physics, we can actually change its mass just by changing its scale. So what we're going to do is use the scale tool. So this one right here. And when we do this, you'll notice we get a very different kind of gizmo. Now, what I'm going to do is make sure that it is very clear that what I'm grabbing is the dead center of this gizmo. So this little white section that's right here. And when I'm clicking and dragging on this, and I'm going to drag to the right-hand side, you'll see it gets smaller. And when I drag to the left, you'll see that it gets larger. And as it gets larger, you can see that its mass is actually increasing as well. So this is where some fun fun stuff starts to happen. So what I want to go ahead and do is move this up and kind of launch these up into the air because we're working with the lever here. So with this one selected, let's also go back to the move tool. Now I'm going to lift it straight up in the air and I'm actually going to get it almost off screen if I can. There we go. And then press the play button. And you'll see that it'll drop and it'll kind of launch those weights there on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and hit escape and stop that. And let's kind of alter this a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab these two and go ahead and move them over. So I'm right there on the edge. And now when I press the play button, see we really get them to kind of move. So go ahead and pause the video for a moment and play with that. So let's take this a step further and actually create some very unbalanced forces. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit. I'm just gonna use my scroll wheel here. And I do wanna snap this back down to the lever surface. So with it selected, I'll just press the end key on the keyboard. Remember you can come up here to actor, come down to snapping, and go ahead and snap to floor if you need to as well. So this lever actually has some really interesting things built into it. We do have a couple of widgets. You can see one here and another one right here. So let's go ahead and play with this one right here, this lever lock, it stands for lever location. And if I select that and I start to move it back and forth, you can see that I can actually change where this is going to be in relation to the fulcrum. So if I push it all the way over here and I press play, you can see now I get kind of a ramp situation. Now, the other thing we can do too, is we can kind of reset these. So if I'm not sure where this was originally, over here in the right-hand side in the details panel, you have a lever lock, which is our lever location. And this little thing right here will actually set it back to its defaults. So go ahead and just click on this. And now we know it's right where it was. The other one that we have in here is our base dimensions. Now this one's a lot of fun because I can just click and drag on this green arrow right here. And if I move this, you can actually see I can make this a little bit wider. So just in case it needs a little bit more stability, you can do that. It will also allow you to lift it straight up. So you can actually lift this up off of the surface, which is really kind of cool. Now, these aren't the only things that are actually built inside of this, these two little levers. You do have a few of them over here as well. So I can actually change the lever length and actually shorten that down. And I can also set how thick I want that base to be as well. So you can really customize this to the best of your needs. Now, the other cool thing that is actually built inside of this, and let's go ahead and make this lever as long as possible so you can see this. If you actually need something on the ends, over here so that stuff isn't actually falling off of it, you can actually toggle this end stoppers on right here. So if I turn this on, now I've got little stoppers on either end of it. But wait, there's more. Something else that we can do with this too is that we can actually set its initial rotation. So we have this lever rotation right here. And if I spin this, we can actually kind of start it so that it's on one side. And this can be really helpful if you need to kind of launch something from one place to another be very, very helpful. So let's go ahead and set all of this back to normal. I'm just going to go ahead and do the undo. So if I hold down control and hit Z, I can continue to hit control Z or command Z if you're on a Mac till this is back to where it was prior. So with these newfound abilities down here inside of the details, go ahead and continue to play and see what other kind of fun little things you can create with a lever and just a couple of weights.